everybody, this is Jim with ESRI Developer Network. Uh, I have something to show you today. It's not really a developer task, but it is something neat that I found uh, how to do with ArcGIS Explorer. So I wanted to take a minute to show that to you. Uh, here's the deal. I'm going up to Glacier National Park up in Montana. My friend Bernie, I know, goes there a lot, camping, hiking, and I asked him to see if he can recommend any hikes for me. Uh, and he did. He went ahead and sent me this email that says uh, there's a good hike if I uh, start off at West Glacier then drive up the road to a place called The Loop and then from there take the trail up to Swift Current Pass. So what I do is I open up RJS Explorer. If I can find these places I can map them. I can make a map for myself when I'm up there. So let's go ahead and do that. With RJS Explorer I don't really have an address here so I'll go ahead and choose the Find Place task and type in West Glacier in Montana and click find. Excellent. Sure enough it finds it, puts a little red button symbol there and zooms in on it and I have the beginnings of a new map. Let's try to find these other places so that I can map out this trail. Uh, the first place I want to type in is the loop in Montana. Not so sure about that because that seems like an ambiguous term. So when I click the find button, yeah sure enough it can't find that. So let me try Swift Current Pass also in Montana, otherwise it would be a long hike. And when I click the Find button, yeah, as you can see, it doesn't find that one either. Uh, so I called Bernie up and I said, well, how am I supposed to find these things? Can I find these things with ArcGIS Explorer? And he said, yes. Instead of using the Find Place task, which is good for towns and cities and airports, there's a task that you can get through the Resource Center called the um, GeoNames task. So I dragged my camera over there a couple minutes and talked to Bernie, walked me through it, it's really quick, uh, and this is how that went. Bernie. Hey. How you doing? Good, how's it going? <laughs> Not too bad. Hey, I thought you were going on vacation. Well, I am, and I, and I appreciate you making that suggestion uh, for that hike. Uh, the problem is I'm using ArcGIS Explorer, I want to map this out. I found West Glacier, Montana, but I couldn't find those other places. Uh, can you help me find those? Sure. Yeah, I'll, I'll show you how to do that. So, uh, well, let's just uh, let's just do what you, you did. You're probably using uh, Find Place to find uh, West Glacier, probably. Yeah, exactly. So let's go ahead and uh, let's do that. Locate ourselves, and I'll type in uh, West Glacier, Montana. Let's go ahead and find that. And uh, there we are. There's West Glacier. And uh, what I'll do is I'll add another layer from the Resource Center. We'll add. The, uh, the U.S. topo maps, and we'll go ahead and add that there as well. Now, I think uh, part of the problem is that the other names that I gave you for that that neat hiking trail, they're actually place names. They're not city names that you'd find using the find place task, but they are part of the geonames.org database. Oh. And we do have a task which you can load off the resource center, which will allow you to find all those place names. So let me show you how that's done. Uh, let's go back up to the uh, resource center. And what we've done is we've connected to a really nice web service published by geonames.org. And here I am on the task tab at the Resource Center, and I can look at the description of uh, this, and it'll search the geonames.org database, and uh, they publish a web service. You can connect to it for free and um, just begin using it. So we've implemented a little task here which does that. So to add it, I just click, and now I've got a geonames uh, search tool. And uh, let's see, the first place I told you to go is a landmark called The Loop. So let's just go ahead and type in uh, The Loop. We'll type it in there and uh, we'll go ahead and click Find. And uh, it'll go out and connect to the geonames.org service and it returns us all occurrences of The Loop. So yeah, The Loop seems like a pretty ambiguous term. Yeah, it's pretty popular, obviously. We've got lots of states, but it doesn't look like they found the one in Montana. It could be because by default, it searches for the first uh, 10. So let's just go ahead and uh, bump that up and we'll go ahead and do the search again. And uh, boy, there it is. There's uh, the Loop Montana. Yeah. So I'll just check that on and now I'll click Create Result. And you'll see down here in the results, I've now found the Loop and if I click on it, it'll uh, take us to that location. So there it is. So um, we started off in the West Glacier, which is way down the road down here and uh, now you're going to drive up the road and you go to this location called the loop. 
Now the other place I told you to go, let's clear these now, is a place called Swift Current Pass. Right. And That's it, where the trail ends? or uh, The trail keeps going, but there's a great view of the glacier from there. So Super. we'll just type in uh, Swift Current Pass and we'll click Find. Again, we're using geonames.org and we found the place name. And let's create that result and uh, click on it and zoom to it. So there's your, there's your map. You can see uh, this is where you're going to park the car and you're going to get on the trail at the loop and you're going to head on up here to Swift Current Pass. And you can see from Swift Current Pass you're going to have a great view looking down into Bullhead Lake and looking over Swift Current Glacier. So it's a great task. A lot of people overlook it, but it's very, very useful. Right, and just pick it up right on the Resource Center. Exactly. All right, hey, thanks a lot. Sure, Jim. We'll see you when I get back. Okay, have a good one. All right.